Hey Glam Fam, what's up? So today I did another recreation. First of all, if you're new to my channel, my name is Veronica. And if you're not new, you know I love you. You should definitely hit that subscribe button, become a part of the Glam Fam. That's what we are, one big happy family. I'm super excited to have you here with me today. We are gonna be doing this summery, but easy, all drugstore, all affordable makeup look. It came out perfect. I was actually recreating it from the video with Anita and Becky G called Bananas. So I'm gonna insert a clip right here. If you want to get this fresh summertime easy look and learn how to do a faux liner without using a liner pen that's so much more easier, then just keep on watching. Before you go, hit that subscribe button right now. You just do it right now, please. I would really, really appreciate it. I would love for you to be a part of my family here on YouTube. Hit that post notification bell so you always know when I upload another video. All right, without any further ado, we're gonna insert that intro right now. Let's do this. I just wanna show you all. I don't wanna do you wrong. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the flies of them all? So beautiful people, so it's so amazing to have you here with me right now. I am super stoked to get this going. The other part of this that I didn't mention earlier in the intro is that my mom, who is late 60s, is also going to be putting her spin on the challenge. She's so hardcore into this that to do this look that she literally painted her earrings red because she didn't have a pair of red earrings. So I'm gonna insert a picture of her right here. I just wanted to let you know that before we get started, I went in with this Pons Clarence B3 Dark Spot Correcting Cream. I know that by looking at the picture that Anita had very matte skin. So in the video, like whenever I hear matte, because I have dry skin, I just want to run for the hills. It's like a horror film for me. Since I have dry skin, the only primer that I have pretty much that's for to mattify Oh, we're gonna, we gonna pick that boy up. It came with this much because it came from an Ipsy bag. I don't care, my floors are clean. We are picking it. Oh. I'm gonna put it on like this. Like, forget the pencil. Okay, we're gonna let this sink in because you wanna not go right into makeup right after you apply the primer. So what I like to do, tap it in, give it a little help, you know, just to help it get in those pores. And while we wait for it to sink in, this is the perfect app for you guys to hit that subscribe button. If you already are subscribed, you know how much I love you and how great it is to be part of the Glam Fam. That's what we are, one big family. It lets me know that you guys want more look. When I hear the word matte, the only foundation that I adore, because literally, even if you didn't use a primer, this is the matte and poreless. It literally makes your pores disappear. I take it with my Morphe M439 brush clean it off of my hand and just tap it into my skin. Okay, we're gonna put on some music so that I can stop blase blying. I am gonna do my brows off camera. I'm going to go in, I know, call me crazy. I'm going to go in with my brows with this LA Colors Face Contour Pencil because her brows were very light. And as you can see, I may not have brows, but I need to lighten them up. So I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna just apply this, do some Wonder Brow. I'll let you know when I get back, but when I get back, these brows will be did and we will continue on with the video. So I am back, the brows are did. I was thinking maybe I'll go over them with this light wet and wild pencil. I used the Wonder Brow like I said I was going to. Just so you guys can see. It's hard to light and dark brows, but yo, your girl just thought of this right now and this is working. They're light enough. I am going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte because I'm trying to go for that whole matte effect. And this will definitely keep your foundation from going anywhere. I am gonna go in with the best drugstore concealer in my opinion, that's the Maybelline Matte Fit Me in number 25. And I'm using the concealer as eye primer because I have eye primer, but it's Urban Decay, and then that wouldn't make this look affordable. I mean, it's affordable, but it wouldn't be drugstore. I'm gonna do a little line right here. That's gonna make my contour stand out. She doesn't have that much contour on, but my whole idea is to get my face to look slimmer. So we're gonna buff this all out. A Morphe a G2, and I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna start putting on some music so that we can listen to music while we do these steps. And I'll just come in and explain what I'm using. And as always, you already know, 
every single product that I use in this video will be in the description box below. <laughs> Set my under eyes right now, immediately, with a flat concealer brush. This is a Wet n Wild brush, it's affordable too. Into this Wet n Wild color icon bronzer. But like for me, do you guys see that? That is definitely, it has a little bit of shimmer. I want my whole face to be matte and I want my under eyes to have a little bit of glow. This Eco Tool sponge and just go like this because of its flat side. And then I'm gonna bake or set that this book that I'm going to use for our eyes, this is the Little Black Beauty book, Warm Edition. The shades don't have shade names, so I'm just going to point to the shades. If you have this book, great. If you don't, you just use whatever color matches what I'm doing, and that's it. If you do this makeup look, tag me. Go on my Instagram. All you have to do to follow me on Instagram is it's at wow 36 Take a picture of the look, and yeah, and follow me. <laughs> of Cody Airspun, just to really lighten it up. Just what's in the lid. This is a clean tapered blending brush, so anyone will do. I'm going to use the Morphe M433 and I'm going to go into this color right here. Blending brush again. I'm just gonna buff from the where the bone, brow bone is to this just to make it look softer and seamless. But look how easy that is. We're done. Now what we have left to do is a faux liner. It's very easy to do. Same one that I use for my brows. It's very stiff. This is by Milani. I am going to go in to the only black in the palette, which is right here, with my angled brush, and I'm going to create a faux liner, a faux winged liner. And these are actually easier to accomplish than using a pen, believe it or not. So I'm just going to start in the corner and tight as tight as I can over my lash line. I'm gonna do this eye with you guys and then speed up the next eye. I'm gonna create a wing. You see how easy that is? Like it's super, super easy. And that's it. Then we're gonna take a brush and just buff it, smudge it out. I'm using the Morphe E36 by the way. So before we head to lower lash line and lashes, it is the time in my video where we do jam sesh. If you are new to my channel, we take, we're gonna about to put highlighter. So when you put highlighter, most people think that you either just put it on and then spray. And that's cool, there's no rules in makeup. But my theory, and what's always worked best for me, whether I want a pop in highlighter or natural highlighter, is I spray my face with whatever setting spray today because this is an affordable tutorial. I'm using the Mario Badescu Skin Care Rose Water Spray. I'm gonna spray my face and then we're gonna wait for it to dry because if we don't wait for it to dry, you're going to apply highlighter and you're gonna have that line. And that, that, that line ain't cool, okay? That line ain't cool. Even though there's no rules, the line ain't cool. Like a highlighted football player. So we are going to spray and while, what jam session is, getting back to what I was saying, is we spray, we put some music on in the background, we dance out for like literally a second, and then we apply our highlighter after the setting spray is somewhat dry. Believe me, if you do this tip, you will have the best effect on any highlighter. So let's spray. It's jam sesh time, y'all. Cut! 
So now we're done with jam session. Now that our setting spray is dry, I am going in, same one I used on my nose, and that is I'm So Lit by Wet n Wild. This is their new highlighter, and if y'all haven't got this, you need to like get in your car, drive to Walgreens and get this right now because this is fire. You could do, I'm sorry Anastasia, but for Anastasia Beverly Hills, their new Let Loose highlighters, and I can actually say that because I own it. Because I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it. I'm gonna go into the lid literally watch what I do slowly that's it that that's it we are gonna work on the lower lash line same small e36 brush and I noticed that her lower lash line was not as dark as her upper lash line so I am going into this very deeper brown I'm hungry. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I'll see you in the next video. Before you guys exit out of the video, there's one more step. We're gonna put a little bit of this Escada summer vibes. I wanna smell the way I look and how I feel. Oh, peace.